Hello everyone, it's Janine. Lavinia Stamps DT for the month of October. Today we're going to be making this. It's thin, we're using the stones, some mountains in the background, sunset and some lovely, lovely orbs using the metallic gilding flakes. So we'll get started. I'm using a piece of card which is six and three quarter inch by eight and a quarter. I'm going to start by using Element Ink Sundance, Russet Orange and Paprika in that order. Now we have a rough background. As, as you can see, I didn't take a lot of care. It's just a background color. Um, so it's just giving us the rough background color. Now, because I want it a little bit brighter around the edges, I'm gonna do um, a layer of Versafine Clair Tulip Red, just round the edges, just to give it a little bit more of that ping round the edges. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But I love this red. Get off. Just to give it that extra burst of colour. I'm also going to put some um, Versafine Clair Cheerful in the middle of my sun. I don't think my um, sun dance is very bright yellow. I think I need another one and I've been using orange as well, I think, on that brush. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of this. That's a lot better. Okay, so now we've got our base coat, so we're ready to stamp. So first of all, I'm using Nocturne and I'm going to stamp thin. Gonna put her below the sun. There we go. Now using my template, my hill template, mountain template, I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Acorn. You can take this down um, if you're not confident enough to just do it by pressing on with your fingers. So as you can see, it's very rough. Press down, give those edges a coat. Now what I'm going to do is just give it a quick wipe, turn it upside down and do another layer of mountains. I'm going to avoid that little gap between a bottom and a wings so I don't have to faff about 
blending in there. Once again, very quickly. Take care around her wings. that's that now we're ready to stamp our stones using nocturne again i'm just going to put three on it's up to you how many you want to put on here So that's our stone stamped. Now what I'm going to do is colour my stones with um, an assortment of pens. You can use any pens to colour your stones. So there we have our stones stamped um, in various different colours, sticking to the to the uh, colour scheme. We're now going to stamp um, one of the small um, foliage stamps using Nocturne. This is from the Twisted Vine set. Stamp randomly at the bottom. Second, third take-offs. I like sticking them on the little rocks there. There we go. Now we're going to stamp our... Um, Red berry reef. Using Nocturne. You can stamp this where you like. I'm just going to stick to what I've already done. to show you how to do is how I did the orbs using the golden flakes. Now these are some that I've already made and one that I haven't. So all I've done with these is it's um, I've just cut some circles out using a die, a couple of different sizes of die you could use a hole punch, anything you want, and I've stuck double-sided tape on them. It's as simple as that. 
So I've stuck it onto some uh, white card, white paper, um, and then I've stuck the metallic gilding flakes onto the top. I'll show you how I've done that with the one I've got left to show you to do. So basically I'm just adding my glue and we're just stick sticking those straight onto our work. This is just so much easier than trying to get the perfect circle using glue. Put one there. somewhere you want randomly it's completely up to you where you want to put them now this is the one that I haven't done I'll show you how I did it what I would do personally is I would stick these on like I'm going to do with this one so make sure it's stuck on peel off your backing colour I'm using is Metallic Gilding Flakes Flame and these are absolutely gorgeous. I'll just get a few out in my fingers and you're literally just putting it on and rubbing it round and it's as simple as that. rub all around the edges get all over and that's how I've done my orbs on this piece as you can see they're really sparkly and beautiful colour right the next thing I'm going to do is just take a little bit of colour out of Finn's wings using a paintbrush and water. Bit of kitchen roll, lift that off. Okay, you can see how it's lifted the colour off because we're using the element inks. I've also blobbed there so that will take that little bit off as well. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp our stars. Now, if you want and you've got more time, you could actually emboss these in gold embossing powder. But I'm just going to put some randomly with this cheap um, metallic ink that I've got. Right, now I'm going to just put a hill in, um, hopefully, yeah, they're dried. I'm going to use the acorn again, just to put a hill in, or a couple, whatever you like. Um, let's have a look. I'm going to put it there, it doesn't matter if you go over your black, just avoid your stones. So that's one hill, um, you can do another one if you like. There we go. And then I'm just going to do a little bit under fin there. So 
So you can see this is a little bit tiny different from the first one that I did. Just a tiny bit. Okay. I'm now going to use the same paintbrush and I'm going to put stickles. This is Twinkle. on her wings. I like this because it's got really lovely iridescent colours in it. Let's move that off the bottom. Right up to the top. And what I always tempted to get to do as well is just get a little bit of eye glitter and just sprinkle it on just a tiny little bit so there we've nearly finished and um, I'm just going to get um, my white ink and I'm just going to do some white areas coming up over the top of the hills and mountains rub that in a little bit I think I have more or less everything there and now I'm going to get my gilding wax um, I haven't ordered any of the Lavinia, Lavinia gilding wax yet which I do hope to do because they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so if you do have some you can actually colour your stones in with those um, you can stamp the stars with those um, you can do so much with the gilding wax. This is one that I've just had for absolutely ages. It lasts forever and ever and ever. And all I'm going to do is go around the edge with my finger. If you want to use a tool to do this, you can do. I know the Lavinia ones have... Um, have the sponges, little sponges in with them. I'm just going around the edges, just rough, just to give it that little bit of an extra shine and shimmer. It's all over. You put as much as you want on of this or as little as you want. Give my fingers a wipe. End up with this all over. made a bit of a mess but there we go so that's it it's all finished if you want to add a few um, little highlights on the end of your berry reef you can do that um, but there she is um, thin looking up at the orbs with her twinkly wings as you can see those orbs are beautiful Um, I hope you have a go anyway. Um, thanks ever so much for joining me today. Um, thank you.